Welcome to the Tablet Guide for another review. This time we're looking at the Canvas 12, the new graphics tablet from Huion. Inside the box is the tablet, the stand, the pen holder, which contains 10 replacement pen nibs and pen nib clip for removing old nibs, 3-in-1 cable, USB-C extension cable, warranty card, thank you card, quick start guide, cleaning cloth and an artist's glove. The Canvas 12 comes in two colours, Starfish Orange and Cosmo Black. I went with orange, but the specs are exactly the same. Down the left side of the tablet are the power button and eight programmable press or shortcut keys. On the actual right side of the tablet are the USB-C ports for connection. Flip the tablet over and you're presented with the four anti-slip mats. The stand is fully adjustable and you can change the angle to whichever you prefer drawing it. The pen is nice and light and feels pretty comfortable to hold and draw with. It's battery free, supports 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and supports 60 degrees of tilt, which basically means the harder you press the more varied the line will be produced and you can use it for producing like a shading effect. Think of it like shading with a pencil. The screen is capable of displaying 16.7 million colours, has a colour gamut of 128% sRGB and comes with a 170 degree viewing angle. Perfect if you enjoy drawing sideways. The pen only needs to be within 10mm of the screen for it to be registered by the tablet. The two buttons on the pen are also programmable should you wish to change the default settings, which are right mouse click and eraser modes from top to bottom. The drawing experience with this tablet was, as expected, great. 12 inch is a nice size to work with on the 1920 by 1080 resolution and the screen is nice and bright. Pen sensitivity worked really well and I was able to get nice variable lines with minimal effort with this pen.
Opening up the driver software, you can adjust the pen sensitivity to your liking. I prefer a harder press personally on the tablet to achieve a thicker line, so I tend to drag down the curved line in the pressure sensitivity adjustment box. The screen is an IPS LCD, full HD, 1920 by 1080 resolution and is fully laminated, meaning the distance between the actual glass and the LCD screen is minimal, which in turn means the gap between the pen nib and what you see on the screen is pretty much non-existent. Here's a handy tip for the shortcut keys. Pressing the two middle buttons, keys four and five for three seconds, brings up the on-screen display for the tablet, whereby you can change the brightness, contrast, and make other changes. By default, the eight shortcut keys are, in order, B for brush, zoom in, zoom out for the brush, zoom in, zoom out of the document, the eraser button, spacebar, and control Z for undo. These are fully customizable in the driver software if you want to make any changes. This donut shaped pen holder also contains 10 spare nibs and an extractor tool.
The stand is adjustable to several levels depending on the way you work and both the tablet and the stand will fit nicely into a laptop bag for easy transportation. As with all Huey on tablets, the build quality was really good and it was a great experience drawing on this tablet. I've used a few Huey on tablets now and once again this one does not disappoint. It's well built and looks cool too. That funky orange colour's really grown on me. All in all, this is yet another great pen tablet from Huion to draw on and comes thoroughly recommended. One of the cool features of this tablet is that it can be used as a traditional graphics tablet. Switching off the screen turns off the uh, screen, so that now you can look at your main display whilst you're drawing on the tablet, which is a cool option. Well that just about wraps up this review, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and tell all your friends and family about this channel. I'll see you next time.